Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are doing my bookshelf tour, so grab some popcorn or a snack and a drink because it's going to be a long video and let's just get right into it. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with my first bookshelf, when you, the one that you see when you walk right into the room. And this is the one where I keep all of my contemporary books on. And then there's a few that are not contemporary, but I just like to keep the authors together for the most part. And then I have some books over here. So we're again, we're going to start with the top shelf. The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. Broken Hearts, Fences, and Other Things to Mend. Revenge, Ice Cream, Best Served Cold, and Other Things by Katie Finn, which is Morgan Matson. Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. Summer Days and Summer Nights, 12 Love Stories edited by Stephanie Perkins, and it's written by a bunch of authors like Libba Bray, Cassandra Clare, Nina LaCour, Stephanie Perkins, Veronica Roth, Jennifer E. Smith, and My True Love Gave to Me, 12 Holiday Stories edited by Stephanie Perkins, and it's got authors in there like Holly Black, Ali Carter, Jenny Han, Gail Foreman, David Levithan, Stephanie Perkins, Rainbow Rowell, Lainey Taylor, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, Attachments by Rainbow Rowell, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I have two beautiful editions of Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This one, the pink one, is the Barnes & Noble edition, and then the mint one is the normal edition. Landline by Rainbow Rowell, Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Alright, on to the next shelf. My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. The Boy Most Likely To by Huntley Fitzpatrick. What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. To All the Boys I've Loved Before and P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. Hello, Goodbye and Everything in Between by Jennifer E. Smith. This Song Will Save Your Life. A novel by Layla Sales. First and Then by Emma Mills. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Kissing in America by Margot Rabb. Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. Vanishing Girls by Lauren Oliver. The Delirium Trilogy by Lauren Oliver. You have Delirium, Pandemonium, and Requiem. I Was Here by Gail Foreman. Saint Anything by Sarah Dessen. Okay, so this, now we're on the bottom shelf, and this might be a little bit rocky because I'm having to hold my camera by hand, so please bear with me. Someone Like You by Sarah Dessen. Just Listen by Sarah Dessen. The Fill and Boyfriend by Casey West. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. How to Love by Katie Katugno. The Start of You and Me by Emory Lord. Winger and Stand Off by Andrew Smith. Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delira. A Little Something Different, 14 Viewpoints, One Love Story by Sandy Hall. One Pink Line by Dinah Silver. This is An Arc of the Lovely Reckless by Cami Garcia. I'm not sure when this comes out, but it should be coming out soon. The Thunder Road series. I have two copies of Nowhere But Here, and that's because I got a copy from Katie McGarry herself. And then Walk the Edge is the second one. And I'm not sure when the next one will be coming out or if this is just a duology. Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. South of Sunshine by Dana Elmendorf. The Secrets We Keep by Trisha Lever. Starry Night by Isabel Gillis. What's Broken Between Us by Alexis Bass. Alright guys, so now on to this pile here. I don't think I'm going to take all of these out just because it's just too much of a hassle. So the first one I have is Midnighters by Scott Westerfeld. All Chained Up by Sophie Jordan. The Face on the Milk Carton by Carolyn B. Cooney. This is a series of Fortunate Events books. Um, this is the first six and they are by Lemony Snicket. I have Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, Ink Spell by Cornelia Funk, Persuasion by Jane Austen, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, Emma by Jane Austen, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, 
The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Another copy of Little Women. And then The Invention of Hugo Cabret by Brian Selznick. I have the entire Gossip Girl series. Is it Northanger Abbey, Pride and Prejudice, Persuasion, Mansfield Park, all by Jane Austen, Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, Dracula by Bram Stoker, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and other stories by Robert Louis Stevenson, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. I have two copies of Peter Pan, um, Georgia Hayer, I don't know what that is, I got that at RT Book Lovers. The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Telling Christina Goodbye by Lurleen McDaniel. McDaniel. The Prince and I by Karen Hawkins. And then over here I have Hold Your Breath by Katie Ruggle. I have book one in the Beyonder series by Brandon Mull. I have the first two book in the Land of Stories by Chris Colfer. And then I have Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. So like I said, these are just some extra books that I really just don't have a spot for on my shelves. Okay, so next we are doing my big three bookshelves. Now I don't really have too much of a system where I keep this organized. It's just a lot of fantasy and other genres. I have adult books. YA books I'm telling you it's all kinds and then I try to keep like my favorite books and the books that I like the way they look the most up near the top because this is the spot where you guys see me filming all the time so let's just jump right into this The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black Legacy of Kings by Eleanor Herman Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo Truth Witch by Susan Dennard a Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, and another copy of A Court of Mist and Fury, all by Sarah J. Mass. The Assassin's Bl Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, and Queen of Shadows, all by Sarah J. Mass. Moving on to the next shelf, we have Legend, Prodigy, and Champion by Marie Lu. Fire and Flood and Salt and Stone by Victoria Scott. Alienated and Invaded by Melissa Landers, Starflight by Melissa Landers, Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Roche, The Young Elites and the Rose Society by Marie Lu, Uninvited by Sophie Jordan, E of Shadows by Kelly Armstrong, The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Corey, Walk on Earth a Stranger by Ray Carson, The Girl of Fire and Thorns, The Crown of Embers and the Bitter Kingdom all by Ray Carson, Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. On to the next shelf, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, The Evolution of Mara Dyer, and The Retribution of Mara Dyer, all by Michelle Hotkin. Poison Princess, Endless Night, and Dead of Winter by Cressley Cole. Next, we have the entire selection series. The Selection, The Elite, The One, The Heir, The Crown, Happily Ever After, and The Selection Stories, all by Kira Cass. And then we also have The Siren by Kira Cass. Magonia by Maria Devana Hadley. Talon and Rogue by Julie Kagawa, Thief of Lies by Brenda Drake, and Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. Now on to the next shelf. Dorothy Must Die, The Wicked Will Rise, and Yellow Brick War, all by Daniel Page, Shadow Queen by C.J. Redwine, Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge, Unhooked by Lisa Maxwell, Alias Hook by Lisa Jensen, Far Far Away by Tom McNeil, Never Never by Brianna are Shrum, The Shannara Chronicles, The Elf Stones of Shannara, and The Wish Song of Shannara, and this is by Terry Brooks, The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer, The Princess Diaries by Meg Cabot, Cruel Crown by Victoria Aviar, these are the novellas, The Book of Ivy and the Revolution of Ivy by Amy Engel, My Art Copy of A Book of Spirit and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes, she gave this to me last year at Yaw West, Angel Fall and World After by Susan E., the World of the Hunger Games, I'm not sure who this is by. Between the Lines, and then I also have an arc of Off the Page by Jody Book by Jody Bacol and Samantha Van Leer. And then that's the end of this shelf. Again, guys, please bear with me. It's gonna be a little bit shaky because I have to do the bottom shelf by hand. End game The Calling by James Frey. I have an arc of Allegiance of Honor by Nalini Singh, an arc of Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. 
Trouble from the Start by Rachel Hawthorne, Surrender by Melody Ann, An Arc of Shadow Rider by Christine Feehan, The Colony, A Rasper Novel, Book One by Kathleen Groger, Saint Blair, Children of the Night by E.W. Skinner, Is a Love Story by Nicole Lufus, Casquette Girls, A Novel by Alice Arden, An Arc of Recreated by Colleen Hook, Just One Kiss, A Black Alcove Novel by Jamie Wagner, all That Glitters is Gold and All That Glitters is Platinum, Book 2 and 3 by K.A. Lynn. A Color of Deception by Ruth J. Hartman. A Little Chapter Sampler of Library of Souls. Um, the Third Novel in the Miss Peregrine's uh, Peculiar Children series by Ransom Riggs. Freya and the Dragon Egg, Book 1 by K.W. Pendorf. Mystery on Mackinac Island by Anna W. Hale. This is a book from my childhood, so I wanted to make sure I had it for my kids. This is another book from my childhood, and it's called The House with the Clock in Its Walls by John Belaris. Matilda by Roald Dahl. And these are mangas. It's Zelda Ocarina of Time, Part 1 and Part 2. The first five bind-ups for Saga by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. You have Saga. Volume 1, Saga, Volume 2, Saga, Volume 3, Saga, Volume 4, and Saga, Volume 5. I have the first two in the Amulet graphic novels. Um, book 1, The Stonekeeper, and Book 2, The Stonekeeper's Curse. And that's all I have for this shelf. Alright, moving on to my top shelf in the middle. We have Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me by Tahara Mafi. Next we have the six book series um, that is The Mortal Instruments, The Mortal Instruments City of Bones, The Mortal Instruments City of Ashes, The Mortal Instruments City of Glass, the Mortal Instruments City of Fallen Angels, The Mortal Instruments The City of Lost Souls, and The Mortal Instruments City of Heavenly Fire all by Cassandra Clare. Next I have just a little Shadow Hunters guide. I'm not sure who wrote this. Next we have the Infernal Devices Trilogy, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess all by Cassandra Clare. Next we have Lady Midnight. This is the first book in the Dark Artifices series by Cassandra Clare. The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. And the Shadow Hunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. All right, moving on to my next shelf down. Okay, so first of all, we have the first four books in the Fallen Kingdom series. Fallen Kingdom, Rebel Spring, Gathering Darkness, and Frozen Tides, all by Morgan Rhodes. Then we have A Book of Spirit and Thieves. This is the finished copy by Morgan Rhodes. This is the first book. Red Queen and Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. The Diviners and Layer of Dreams by Libba Bray. These Broken Stars, The Shattered World and Their Fractured Light by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight and Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. Right, moving on down to the next shelf. First book we have is an autographed copy of Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, Into the Dim by Janet B. Taylor, Princess of Thorns by Stacey J, The Queen of the Tearling and the Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, The Crowns Game by Evelyn Skye, and Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir, The Wrath and the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adia, a Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, The Orphan Queen by Jody Meadows, Ruined by Amy Tentera, Trial by Fire by Josephine Angeline, and Penroyal Academy by M.A. Larson. All right, moving on to the next shelf, The Fifth Wave and the Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey, The Dark Days Club by Allison Goodman, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton, The School of Good and Evil series by Soman Chonani, the first one is The School for Good and Evil. The second one is The School for Good and Evil, A World Without Princess. And the third one is The Last Ever After. The Scorpion Rules by Aaron Bow. The Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series by Ransom Riggs. The first one being Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. The second one is Hollow City. And the third one is Library of Souls, all by Ransom Riggs. An Arc of Nemesis by Anna Bank. Paper Princess by Aaron Watt, The Glass Gargoyle by Marie Andreas, Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder, The Mad Man's Daughter by Megan Shepard, Once Again by Liz Braswell and Cameron Doki, 
Entwined by Heather Dixon, The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski. I have two copies. This is my paperback copy that's signed by her. Alright guys, on again to the bottom shelf. Bear with me. The first book is Damage Done by, by Amanda Panich. Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. Water for Elephants by Sarah Groon. Give Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. Trouble, a novel by Non Pratt. Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. Whatever Life Throws at You by Julie Cross. It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Ha. Looking for Alaska and Paper Towns by John Green. Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. Lies I Told You by Michelle Zink. An Arc Copy of Everything, Everything by Nicola Yoon. The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin. A Arc Copy of Stone Rider by David Hoffmeyer. The Goodbye Bride by Denise Hunter. An Arc of How to Hang a Witch by Adriana Mather. And this comes out July 2016. Anna Dressed in Blood and Girl of Nightmares by Kendar Blake. The Evil Librarian by Michelle Knudsen. Unbreakable and Unmarked Book 1 and 2 in the Legion series by Cami Garcia. And The Merciless by Daniel Vega. Okay, starting off with the top and my last of my big bookshelves. Black Hearts by Nicole Castrum. Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. The Darkest Minds Trilogy by Alexandra Bracken. We have The Darkest Minds, Never Fade, and In the Afterlight. The Under the Never Sky Trilogy, Under the Never Sky, Through the Ever Night, and Into the Still Blue by Veronica Rossi. The Shadow and Bone Trilogy, Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Rune and Rising by Lee Bardugo. The Winner's Curse Trilogy, The Winner's Curse, The Winner's Crime, and The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rutkowski. Serafina by Rachel Hartman, and Uprooted by Naomi Novik. On to my next shelf. We have the Lunar Chronicles series. The first one is Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, Winter, and then we have Stars Above and Fairest, the two Lunar Chronicles collection novellas. And those are all by Marissa Meyer. Next, we have two books in the Remnant Chronicles, The Kiss of Deception and the Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. Next, we have the Hunger Games trilogy, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, all by Suzanne Collins. Next, we have the first two books in the Magisterium series, The Iron Trial and the Copper Gauntlet by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. Next, we have His Fair Assassins trilogy, Grave Mercy, Mortal Heart, and Dark Triumph by Robin Lefevers. And last, it's Icons by Margaret Stoll. On with the next shelf. We have the Divergence series by Veronica Roth, Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant, and the Bind Up Novellas 4. The first book in the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard series, The Sword of Summer. We have the first two books in the Glass Sentence series, I believe is what it's called, by Essie Grove, The Glass Sentence, and The Golden Specific. Reign of Shadows by Sophie Jordan. Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. The Ring and the Crown by Melissa De La Cruz. We have the Precious Stones Trilogy, Ruby Red, Sapphire Blue, and Emerald Green by Kirsten Gear. Dream a Little Dream by Kirsten Gear. Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis. And The Jewel by Amy Ewing. All right, on to the next show. Clerial by Garth Nix. Conversion by Katherine Howe. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. The first two books in the Red Rising trilogy, Red Rising and Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. Murder of Crows by Anne Bishop. Zodiac, this is the first book in a series by Romina Russell. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. You by Carolyn Kepnes. Golden Boy by Abigail Tartelin. Night Film by Marisha Pessel. The Bone Season and the Mime Order by Samantha Shannon. Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. And The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. Okay, on to the bottom shelf again. We have the second book in the Outlander series, Dragonfly and Amber by Diana Gabaldon. The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. Red Glove by Holly Black. This is the first two books in the Lumetier um, Chronicles. The first book is Finnegan of the Rock, and the second one is Foy of the Exiles by Melina Marchetta. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. The first two books in the Dune series, Dune and Destined for Dune by Carrie Corp and Lori Langdon. The Warrior by T.L. Coulter. This is the third book in the Arcadian series. And then we have the first two books in what is, is right now as a duology, Retaliation and Restoration by T.L. Coulter. Memoirs of a Vampire by T.L. Coulter. I believe this is going to be the, thir the first book in a series. And then we have part one 
Inside Part 1, Inside Part 2, and Inside Part 3 by Kyra Anderson. And then I have two copies of Dimension Guardian, The Realm of the Beast, The Guardian Tournament by K.J. Amadon. And this is the first book and I believe it's in a series. She sent me one and then she redid the book um, with a few changes. So she sent me the other one and I just kept both of them. Next we have the books in the Harry Potter series. You guys all know what they look like so I'm not going to pull these out. I have my original copies to the right and then my new copies to the left. If you notice the fourth one, The Goblet of Fire, is missing and that's only because I have it over there because it's for my TBR for this month. Anyways, moving along down to this shelf. Starting off with the first book, we have A Flamecaster by Cinda williams Chima. Then we have Seven Realm series, books one through four, and I believe that's all there is. First book is The Demon King. Second book is The Exiled Queen. Third book is The Grey Wolf Throne. And the fourth book is The Crimson Crown. Next we have the finished copy and then a chapter, a chapter sampler of The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. Soundless by Rochelle Mead. The first and the third book in the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead, Vampire Academy and Shadow Kiss. The Great Hunt by Wendy Higgins. Next we have the Sweet Evil series. It was going to be a trilogy but she just came out with another one. First book is Sweet Evil. Second book is Sweet Peril. Third book is Sweet Reckoning. And the fourth book Sweet Temptation. Next we have the first two books in the Raven Cycle series by Maggie Stiefvater, The Raven Boys and Dream Thieves. I also have the paperback edition The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stiefvater. All right on to my next shelf. First we have my Twilight books. We have Twilight, New Moon and Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer, Life and Death by Stephanie Meyer, and Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. I also have the white editions of the Twilight series, which I'm not going to take out. The Assassin's Curse and the Pirate's Wish by Cassandra Rose Clark. This is a duology. Forbidden by Kimberly Griffiths Little. An Arc of Flashfall by Jenny Moyer. And this comes out in November 2016. Then we have the Song of Lioness Quartet by Tamora Pierce. We, the first book is Alana, The First Adventures. The second one is The Hand of the Goddess. The third book is The Woman Who Rides Like a Man. And the fourth book is Lioness Rampant, all by Tamora Pierce. And the last book on the shelf is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. All right, guys, now it's time to freehand it again, so bear with me. These are the first two books in the Chaos Walking trilogy. The first book, The Knife of Never Letting Go, and the second book, The Ask and the Answer. Defiance by C.J. Redwine, Leviathan, and Goliath by Scott Westerfeld. These are the first two books in a trilogy. The Maze Runner trilogy, The Maze Runner, The Scorched Trials, and Death Cure. The False Prince Trilogy, The False Prince, The Runaway King, and The Shadow Throne, all by Jennifer A. Nielsen. The Percy Jackson series, which I'm not going to take out. The first book is The Lightning Thief. The second book is The Sea of Monsters. The third book is The Titan's Curse. The fourth book is The Battle of the Labyrinth. And the fifth book is The Last Olympian, all by Rick Riordan. Next book I have is The Kingdom of Little Wounds by Suzanne Kokel. The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. I believe this is the first two books in a series. The first book, A Great and Terrible Beauty. And the second book, The Sweet Far Thing by Libba Bray. And the last book is Splintered by A.G. Howard. This is the first book in a trilogy. Okay, so on to my little mask market paperbacks. I'm not sure if I really want to take these out either because it's just, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But the first series right here is the Kate Daniel series. The first one is Magic Bites. The second one is Magic Burns. Third is Magic Strikes. Then Magic Bleeds. Magic Slays. Magic Rises. Magic Breaks. And then Magic Shifts. All by Alona Andrews. The next series is the Dark Fever series by Karen Marie Monning. And the first book is Dark Fever, Blood Fever, Fay Fever, Dream Fever, and then Shadow Fever. The next books I have right here is the Succubus Blues, and that is by Rochelle Mead. That's the first book in the series. And then I have a duology by Michelle Rowan, a.k.a. Morgan Rhodes, and that is Nightshade and Bloodlust. 
Coming up here, we have Stormfront by Jim Butcher. And this is the first book in a series. Um, we have The Left Hand of Darkness above that by Ursula K. Le Guin. And then the book above that is 1984 by George, by George Orwell. Coming over here, I have Warbreaker and Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. I don't they're not part of a series. I believe it's just its own standalone. Um, and then above that, I have the like the Lies of Locke Lamora series by Scott Lynch. And I think it's like a Gentleman and a Bastard series or something like that. Or it might be a different series. I'm not sure. But the first book is The Lies of Locke Lamora. The second book is Red Sea Under Red Skies. And the third book is The Republic of Thieves. And again, those are by Scott Lynch. Okay, so coming up here on the top of this little bookshelf, we have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which of course you guys know what that looks like. This is my TBR, or at least some of them, for the month of July. Here is a sneak peek. It's Never Missing, Never Found by Amanda Panich. I was sent to this for review, so I'm looking forward to reading this one and reviewing it for you guys. And then I have the third and the fourth book in the Raven Cycle. The third book is Blue Lily Lily Blue, and the fourth book is The Raven King by Maggie Steve Otter. And the last book is The Darkest Magic by Morgan Rhodes. This is the second book in the book, in a book of spirit and thieves. So I am so excited to get to this one. Next book over here, we have a signed copy from George R.R. R. Martin of A Clash of Kings. And this is the second book in the Game of Thrones series. And coming over here, I have my Game of Thrones series, the box set. The first one is Game of Thrones. The second one, A Clash of Kings. Third book, A Storm of Swords fourth book, A Feast for Crows, and the fifth fifth book, A Dance with Dragons. And this beautiful series is the Song of Ice and Fire series, if you did not know. Coming up above that, I have my Brandon Sanderson um, Mistborn trilogy, and this trilogy that I have here is actually... Um, the UK editions, which I am obsessed with. The first book is The Final Empire, the second book, The Well of Ascension, and the third book, Heir of Ages. All right, guys, starting off with my first shelf on the last shelf. First book is Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armitrout. This is the first book in the Lux series. Also have the bind ups, which is going to be a little bit confusing for you guys. Obsidian and Onyx in it. This is the first and second book of the Lux series. This next bind up has Opal and Origin in it, which is the third and the fourth book in the Lux series. And the fifth book, which is Opposition, which is the fifth book, and fifth and the last book in the Lux series. Next, we have Oblivion by Jennifer L. Armitrout, and this is. Um, obsidian but told in the point of view of Damon Black. Then we have the Dark Elements trilogy by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The first book is White Hot Kiss. The second book is Stone Cold Touch. And the third book Every Last Breath by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Next book we have is the first book in the Wicked trilogy, Wicked by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Next we have The Return by Jennifer L. Armentrout and this is a Titan novel. Uh, I haven't gotten into this novel yet so I met her and um, Drew Lady, who plays Seth, he is the guy on the cover. So I picked this up when I was at RT Book Lovers Convention. Then we have the first two books in the Covenant series. First book is Half Blood, and the second book is Pure by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The Problem with Forever by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and Fall with Me by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Next, we have my favorite duology of all time: The Edge of Never and The Edge of Always by J. A. Redmersky. Beautiful Bastard by Christina Lauren. Sweet Filthy Boy by Christina Lauren. Wallbanger by Alice Clayton. All right, on to my next shelf. Slammed Point of Retreat and This Girl by Colleen Hoover. We have the Hopeless Duology, Hopeless and Losing Hope by Colleen Hoover. Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Confess by Colleen Hoover. Number Nine by Colleen Hoover. And then we have the, I guess you could say, Bad Boys novels is what they're called. The first book, Down to You. The second book, Up to Me. And the third book, Everything for Us. I am Layton. I have read the first book. I'm not 100% sure if the 
last two books are the same characters or if it's a companion series. On Dublin Street and Fall from India Place by Samantha Young. Clipped Wings and Inked Armor by Helena Hunting. Addicted by Zane. Easy and Breakable by Tamara Weber. Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Darker, and Fifty Shades Freed by E.L. James. Grey by E.L. James, which is in the point of view of Christian Grey. Killing Sarai by J.A. Redmersky. The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Jabosky. All right, guys, you guys actually made it to the end. If you're still with me, thank you. Um, we're on the last shelf, so hang in there just a few more minutes. Um, my battery is dying, so I'm going to be try to make it kind of quick, so let's get started. Vegas Love by Jillian Dodd. Perfectly Imperfect by Harper Sloan. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. My Second Copy of You by Carolyn Kepnes. Vicious by V.E. Schwab. The Jane Austen Book Club by Karen Joy Fowler. The Bronze Horseman Trilogy by Paulina Simons. We have the Bronze Horseman, Tatiana and Alexander in the Summer Garden. Austin Land by Shannon Hale. The Lathe of Heaven by Ursula K. Le Guin. The Everneath Trilogy by Brody Ashton. We have Everneath, Everbound, and Ever True. Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. Unwind by Neil Schusterman. The Complete Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Midwinter Blood by Marcus Sedgwick. Anti-Goddess and Moral Gods by Kendar Blake. Codename Verity and Black Dove White Raven by Elizabeth Ween. And the last two books, Sense and Sensibility and Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. And this is like my third or fourth copy of these books. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.